Hey everybody, we're back for another Let's Play and I have a question to ask my beloved audience. Do you like loading? Do you, you like do. loading you screens? Right oh yes. If you like loading and loading screens, this game is for you. So we're playing Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Saturn. And um, this is the first time I'm playing this version. I usually play the one on the Sega Genesis, Sonic Blast. Uh, obviously, this one has better graphics, better music, it handles better. But And this cool, snazzy <laughs> intro looks a lot better. I don't know what you're talking about. The one on the Sega Genesis was amazing. Honestly, the Genesis is one that, is, like... <laughs> is amazing. Just the fact that it exists at all. That, that was like the entire budget of the game, going to that disgusting like, compressed cutscene. <laughs> yeah, it's... That, that cutscene is incredible. This one's fine. Yeah. It, it, if you look side by side, you might argue this is way, way, way better. But might, it's on the Saturn. might argue, yeah. Well, so what, what was I getting at? I was talking about, yeah, so uh, I, I'm more Sorry. familiar with the Sega Genesis version, and in this run, because there's so many load times, I'm not going to get all the Chaos Emeralds, because it just makes the game load more. I get the first one just to see what the special stage was like. It's a half pipe, kind of like Sonic 2, and, and yeah, it's loading again. Um, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to probably let's play the Sega Genesis version, and I'll get the Chaos Emeralds on that one because it doesn't, you know, slow the game down to a crawl. And I could have made cuts. I could have cut out the uh, loading screen. But I was like, no, I want my viewers to get the Saturn experience of the load screens. And yeah, I do apologize for the flicker. For whatever reason, um, it doesn't like the map in certain screens. But the it, actual the gameplay... Game seems fine. Yeah, there, yeah, the gameplay is fine. Like here, yeah, it's going to flicker and spaz out because reasons i don't know and later on it looks better about this also i'm not quite sure what's up with these yeah settings. we are we are playing and recording off of actual hardware so bear with us yeah yeah isn't saturn emulation kind of janky right now the last time i ever used it was about 10 years ago and it didn't work yet mm. like i i had games that like i was able to rip them off my own games and burn them and get them to work on a saturn yeah, so right here, I was like, oh, hey, this bridge actually moves. Uh, that kind of surprised me, because like I said, this is my first time playing this version. I play the Sega Genesis version, so there's a lot of new things. There's a lot of things in the background uh, moving on the walls. Uh, but overall, it's the same game, same layout. Beyond that, though, the colors are a lot more vibrant. Oh, yeah, this and this is a really good looking game, I think. I think this is honestly one of the better looking games on the platform. I don't think it's exactly one of the best, but man, it looks great, in my opinion. Yeah, so there's a little, if you see cracks in the hole, kind of like in a Zelda game, if you see a crack, you can bomb it, you can spin dash it and go through and get a little secret. They have, they did a good job of making all of the, uh, the shields and whatnot, like they do in the Sonic 3, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of mushrooms. Mushrooms were not in the Sega Genesis version, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the flowers are moving too, and there's monkeys crawling up and down the palm trees. That's that's all added in. That wasn't in the Sega version, or the Sega Genesis version, rather. So the basic gist of Sonic 3D, if you've never played it, Sonic has to save the Flickies. Yes. Which are classic enemies from the old Sega single-screen arcade game, Flicky. Yeah, you can argue this is the spiritual successor to that game, I think. I, I think you could. Yeah. It's, you're still collecting the Flickies, and it, it feels the same. Well, after you get five flickies, you can go on to the next section, and yep. there's, in most stages, three sections before you go on to the next level. Yep. And there's two levels, then a boss. Yep. Down at the bottom right, you see a little flicky counter, which has robotic-looking flickies. Yeah, that looks weird to me. I never could really figure out what that was supposed to be. I see, like, two eyes and a mouth, but yeah, <laughs> it looks awkward to me. Anyway, every enemy you kill, and there's not a whole lot, there's five per section, will give you a flicky. So... The game is pretty different from Sonic, even though it has a lot of, you know, similarities, if you will. Yeah, it's still not really a Sonic game. Mm -hmm. It's isometric as well. Yeah, ignoring that. Yeah. But this is faster than the Genesis version. It definitely handles a lot better. So how this works, to get into a special stage, you need to have at least 50 rings and talk to Tails or Knuckles, and they will transport you to a load screen. Loading. I mean, a special stage. <laughs> yeah, so I just did one just to see what it was like. And they do the uh, Sonic 2 half pipe thing again. In the original game, it was this weird, stretchy, distorted path you'd run down. Yeah. But, I don't know, I think this is really cool. And at least for Saturn, pretty good looking. I mean, it's alright. This I'm not a big fan of the uh, Sonic 2 special stages. Mostly because whenever I played Sonic 2, I had Tails with me. And the AI will always screw you over. <laughs> So I kind of grew to dislike this kind of special stage. I like the blue spheres from Sonic 3 Knuckles the best. 
I think I liked it better as well. Though I, I like the uh, Knuckles Chaotic special stage, not the falling one, but the one where you're... Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Running through stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you have 53 rooms. That's more than enough. Yep. Best. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, game. <laughs> I really appreciate what my games tell me I'm cool. <laughs> That really makes it feel really cool. Does it give you that warm and fuzzy feeling inside? Just like, yeah, I'm not a loser. My video game told me I'm cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this is still a classic Sonic, uh, Fat Sonic. This model right here. That's interesting. I hadn't noticed that. Yeah. Which came out first? I honestly can't remember. Sonic 3 or Sonic 3D Blast? I want to say Sonic 3. I'm pretty sure. I like how there's a moon in the background now. Mm -hmm. That's kind of neat how the uh, day was progressing in the I special stage. Yeah. Still just watching it now. Until you pointed it out. Yeah. I like the towers. Yeah, you did it. You got a chaos emerald. And I'm rewarded with a load screen. <gasps> That's such a great prize. No, it's not. <laughs> One of the problems that I have with this game is there's no saving. And yeah, and this came out after Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which allowed you to save. And this is actually a really long game. And it's like. How to explain this? Okay, I can see the Genesis version not saving just because it's a cartridge. You mm -hmm. know? But this is this is a CD game. It takes it should use the uh, onboard memory yeah. to just have a save. Yeah, it should. Oh well. And we're loading. Hooray! Yes, that black screen of load. <laughs> anyway, if you'll notice, right next to Tails, if we were, oh, oh man, my it, God, it, it's now proud of its loading. This, this is the pride. <laughs> it, it was part. trying to hide the loading, but it's like no, we're we can't, we can't. We need to know. Yeah, we need to know what's we're gonna happen. announce that we're loading, just so you you don't think your system died. <laughs> Which seems to happen a lot. More yes, on that later, sure. Yeah. <laughs> God. So, we're probably gonna run out of things to talk about. So Saturn. And death I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do commentary on this whole thing. And ooh, it's flickering again. It, you know what? It seems like when it changes from the screen to the gameplay, it flickers a little. Which is really weird because it didn't do that at all on the monitor we were playing on. No. What to try to It's probably the capture card. I don't know. Yeah. But overall, it looks fine. So I don't, I don't care. And that knuckles right there was not in the Sega Genesis version. He was not there. They added him there for some reason, I guess, to make it easier to get the Chaos Emeralds. But yeah, at that point, I'm like, you know what? I'm No, no I, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I, I saw what I need to see. And we'll just get the bad ending on this version, and then on the Sega Genesis version, I'll get the good ending for you guys. At some point, I'm going to make her go back and actually get all of them. Ugh. And maybe we'll just have, like, the ending. It's going to be, like, a three-hour playthrough with all the loading and emerolding. the whole thing up. No. But, yeah, the whole... The entire playthrough would be long, yes. Yeah. Like that little mole just climbing the wall. I like the sunflowers. Yeah, they look nice. What's that guy's name with the. I don't know. I actually don't know. A lot of the enemies are straight out of the Sonic games, but some yeah, of them. Yeah, some of them are new. Like that guy, yeah. He's kind of a new one. Mm -hmm. So, a difference. Well, I'll mention it in just a little bit, actually. I thought I had all the flickies. I don't. So the problem with this game is, after a while, you're just pretty much doing the same thing over and over, just in, um, I guess, different environments, yeah. Yeah, Sega likes putting their springs and gimmicks to shoot you the wrong way. Typical. <laughs> so, that's a blast shield, and this is actually the first game that had the homing attack in it, but you can only do it when you have the shield, but I still don't use it. I don't think it's very useful, and it, quite frankly, doesn't work that well. I'd rather just roll in enemies to defeat them. I think that's your best bet in this game. Yeah, you have little flicky. Yes, and I'm getting shot. <laughs> so... Since that we have um, all five flickies, I'm going to return them. And there is a difference here. In the Sega Genesis version, when you had all five flickies and you dumped them off, you would manually have to walk on the X to end the level. But in the Saturn version, it's automatic. You will it automatically... You yeah. Yeah. It's like, now nah, you're done with this level. Yep. I don't care if you want to do something still. <laughs> yeah. And they use the same stage end tune as they did in... Uh... I mean, it's the same... It, it's a different arrangement, yeah, but it's the same, same composition, yeah. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. And this is different. The load screen is a map, and this is kind of based off the Game Gear Sonic games. They would have a map in uh, Sonic 1 that would show you where you're at. Kind of reminds me of that. Load. Load time. 
Loading. Oh, yeah. Loading is important, you see. Mm-hmm. Just gotta love that loading. I really like this level. Uh, and it had one of my favorite songs in the Sega Genesis version. The Genesis version had really good music. It I did. I dislike this music either. It's more atmospheric, but the Sega Genesis music was just straight up really catchy, and they would use them in um, newer Sonic games like Sonic Adventure. Mm -hmm. You hear really good remixes of it. But uh, the Sega Saturn as a system kind of upsets me. I feel like it's a huge waste of potential, really. Like, I... I feel like the 32X shouldn't have existed. No, it shouldn't and, have. And beyond that, uh, I mean, I get why the Sega CD existed. The PC Engine CD had done so well, the Sega thought, hey, us too. And then it didn't catch on anywhere. And, you know, it's kind of unsurprising. But it was just a reasonable idea. But when they saw the Sega CD didn't work, I definitely think they should have said no, no new add-ons. Yeah. Like, 32X has a, cool, has a few cool things on it. But, but it, it doesn't rather, warrant doesn't warrant a purchase though. That's the problem. Yeah, I would rather anything that was cool that was on a 32x just came out with Saturn instead. Yeah, and I was like, nope, don't want to do it. Knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like the Sega Saturn, it just didn't really utilize. It was supposed to be big on 2D, and there's a surprisingly lack of good 2D platformers there's, on this. There's, there's some, more but not a lot. In Japan, but like it came out at the wrong time. Yeah. Like, it's, it's the coolest system that could have existed for the stuff that you look at that was cool in 16-bit. But at the same time, it's like, everyone was trying to make garbage 3D games back then. Yeah. And all the 3D games just turned out terribly because the hardware is bad and people were bad at them. Yeah. I definitely would have liked more two-dimensional Saturn games. Yeah, because that's what the system was designed to do, like, primarily. A stall is pretty good. Like, I think it's a really good game. We'll probably put up a Let's Play of that at some point. Yeah. Uh... I think this game is fair. It's not great, but it's it's a good deal better than the Genesis version, and it's it plays pretty well. Yeah. Well, the fact that they didn't get a true like Sonic exclusive. Yeah, that's the hilarious thing about the set. I mean, they have Sonic Jam, but that's just uh, you know. Some Sonic remakes. Yeah. Right there, that's a difference. Oh, okay. So <laughs> here's the funny thing about getting invincibility. Your invincibility wears off before the song does. And I got hit, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'd forgotten that until just now. Yeah, that doesn't happen in the Genesis version. <laughs> and that seems wrong to me. It's like yeah. The last note of invincibility, until it ends, you should be invincible. Yeah. It's been done incorrectly. Yep. And I am missing a flicky, so I get to wander around until I find it and found it. Yeah, big portion of this game are, I missed one of the five enemies, so now I have to go wander around until I find it. Yep. Not exactly the most exciting gameplay. No, it's it's fun enough, I think. Oh, it's it's okay. It's alright. She was controlling that. <laughs> that wasn't the end stage. No. The no, if it's the end, end stage, they'll have an X marker. Is that Caterpillar? It's loosely based off of Caterpillar, okay. yeah. A few of these guys I can recognize, not yeah. all of them. This game kind of demands you have a shield. <laughs> yeah, especially the later levels, like the lava level. Mm -hmm. It's like well, the lava level with a shield is is like child's play. Without it, the shield is like a nightmare. Yes, it's don't lose your shield. The game. Die, cat killer. So some of these flickies act differently when you break them loose. Uh, the red one likes to jump around in place. Uh, the green one, which we'll see in the uh, next world, is a jerk. I'm trying to be politically correct about this. Um, he's a little slow, and he will kind of sometimes avoid you. He'll straight up just walk away from you, or fly away from you, whatever, and uh, make your life living hell trying to pick him up. Uh, the blue one and the purple one tends to be more smart and will not try to actively avoid you. And that's in the level. We're going to go to the, the boss stage. The boss fights are mostly the same as the Genesis, but like this one was different, didn't you say? I think this one is a little bit more aggressive and a little bit faster than uh, the Genesis one, but ultimately they're the same same thing. That's, that's okay. Hey, it's loading. Hooray! <laughs> loading! No. <laughs> Bad load. <laughs> Good load? No. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, 
That is a pretty cool laugh from Robotnik, if you ask me. Yeah. No, I like the song. It's a good song. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the worst design enemies. What do you mean? Robotnik. He's just, it bounces. And he has to go pick it up. <laughs> and it bounces. IQ of 300. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. IQ of 300. No common sense. I think they made the hitbox a little bit better on this one. Uh, I remember on the Sega Genesis version. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he's windshield crash. Yes, it did that on the Sega Genesis version. Oh, it did? Yeah, he okay. takes battle damage. No, boss. it's it's not new. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I like how they did that actually. It shows you how much I played the Genesis one. You did it. Yeah. No, this one was actually easier than the Genesis version. And your reward. Loading screen. Yes. That's my reward. <laughs> No, don't yawn. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Don't yawn. Me too, but okay. the loading, it was too yeah. long. <laughs> I'm going to sip my coffee. <laughs> See, you're doing that to avoid yawning. I'm just giving mm -hmm. in. Giving in to the uh, boredom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next level is, uh, what's it called? I think Mystic Runes. And uh, it's one of my favorite worlds. And it has amazing music on the Sega Genesis version. Uh, this music's good too. Yeah, I'm overall a fan of this game's soundtrack. I... So, sorry for interrupting you. So a lot of times when you first start the level, if you go behind you, there's gonna be a hidden extra life. And so right here, I'm like, oh, what's going on with this tile? And that's just a quirk of the level that was in the Sega Genesis version that certain tiles that you step on, they just kind of move around. I don't know, it's like a little it's neat extra effect. Extra. Yeah. I, I like when games do that. Yeah. Use an extra even if they don't do anything. Yeah. Ooh, spinning. And those cobwebs were not in the Sega Genesis version. And there's a few, other, and the, there's a flicky statue. I don't believe those were in the Sega Genesis versions either. So they had some new set pieces for this this level. Off to a good start. Always. <laughs> so there's going to be some uh, pillars that you want to um, knock down. And yeah, it gets a little annoying in this level. Now, you pointed out that this might be a Knuckles Chaotix reference. Yeah. They have the uh, the crocodile, um, which was like Victor, and then the bee, Charmy. Mm -hmm. And they look very similar to the Chaotix team. Knuckles Chaotix is one of my favorite underappreciated games. Yeah, it's good. It's a good game. At some point, we're going to do a two-player uh, co-op. Let's play. Play yeah. We haven't yet, though. So I go up here, and that little, I think it's a mouse or a rabbit, sticking out the uh, the vase. That wasn't in the Sega Genesis version either. So the little Sonic thing that I got, if you get enough of them, you'll get a continue. Which is, I mean, the game's already kind of easy. Oh, and right here, yeah, I wanted to see if they had the idle pose, and they do, from the Genesis version. That's one of my favorite idle animations. It's really well animated. I don't know if it was quite as well animated in the Genesis version or not. I think it's the same. Okay. Yeah. When did you get the original game? When it was brand new? Yeah. I, yeah, a long time ago. At one point, I played it, and it was it was a little bit after the fact, but I think I was in high school at the time, and I thought, this isn't very good. Who says the Saturn can't do transparencies? Yeah, and obviously they didn't have fog like this in the um, yeah. Genesis version. And, it, and it's raining, too. They didn't have rain, either. There's neat graphic effects like this kind of all over the game. It's one of the better-looking Genesis game, uh, Saturn games for that reason. Yeah. I think I get a little lost here at some point. Mm -hmm. I think you were going the right way just a second ago, but I'm not really sure. And that's where I came from, like, nope, mm -hmm. not the right way. <laughs> <laughs> this music kind of reminds me of the 90s band Enigma. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's definitely a good comparison. I can see that. I, it feels inspired by, at the very least, I yeah. would say. Yeah, it's a mouse. And the little knight over there uh, has better colors. Uh, he didn't have any blue in the Genesis version, because mm -hmm. the palette was more limited. 
The thing that I like about this and a few other games that were kind of of this nature, mm -hmm. Adventures of Low Max, Legend of Mana, uh, Astol, like, you don't have the same limitations you did in 16-bit when making really nice-looking, like, 2D games. So you can just have essentially infinite colors. Yeah. And rather than, uh, like, Genesis had, what, 16 or something per sprite, maybe? I, I don't and, remember. You know, they, they looked fine. But at the same time, you could you could have much more bright, colorful, like, Espio Springs to mind. Mm. Like, yeah, it, but the problem is he only did that in his idle animation, the yeah, altering colors. I wish that Espio had done that always. Randomly, yeah, that would have been really neat. Whatever he's doing, he's flipping colors. Also, Ballerina Sonic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I'm like, why is he a Ballerina? That's funny. <laughs> Finish this section. Is this the yep. level? No, it's just the. Uh... So, between us, we now have three Saturns. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Huh. So, when we first started dating, uh, she didn't have a Saturn, she never had one. And I picked up one for just, you know, hey, it's a Saturn, you like Sega, you should give it a shot. And it didn't work that great. No, and it. it... Like, it worked okay, but it had the. It seems to have some problems with the laser. It's a little bit weak, so I brought mine over, and uh, mine. That's the second one that I've had. I had one that was modified that eventually died, and I have no idea what I did with that. I think I just maybe threw it out or gave it to someone. But it, it would. It was able to play burn games and import games flawlessly. Well, went before it died. So that one I got rid of. And between us, we've now had three, and recently you got a fourth one, a Japanese model, just to play import games. Yeah. The Saturns are finicky. Yeah, the it's hardware... it's a bad console. I can I can see why it died. Like, well, the, it has a the few good games. Dying, that didn't happen during the late '90s. Yeah, but like my PlayStation is fine. My PlayStation Two is fine. My Dreamcast, well. Well, I went through two PS1s and three PS2s. That's crazy. Yeah, like I. I never and had I an issue through, with my PlayStation. I went through those during their actual prime. Like, my fir at a first-generation PlayStation, it had the yellow, red, white audio jacks in the back rather than just the multi-out. Mm -hmm. And before Final Fantasy VII had finished, before I'd finished that game, like, it was already dying on me. <laughs> didn't you say you had an exploit with Final Fantasy IX? Oh, yes. <laughs> so my PlayStation was awesome, right? It... And by awesome, I mean terrible. It was really slow. This is my second PlayStation, second PS1. It the laser aperture would move really slowly. And during the final super boss Osma, the little planetoid, yeah, I remember him up on the clouds. Yeah, Chocobo's racing was involved or something. Yeah. So we, I, I put all of my characters with auto regen, mm -hmm. and I gave all of my characters auto potion. Every attack you did, you do an auto potion afterwards. And during the auto potion, they didn't have to move the, the whole laser aperture to reload the potion effect. Yeah. And it would heal everyone to full because of how long that took <laughs> the auto heal. Just the, the auto regen just taking place over time. Nice. That's funny. Yeah. So I beat him at much lower level than you're supposed to be able that, to. That's pretty funny. I think at that point when I got to him, I would just spam the... Um, it was a Dragon's Crest from Freya, that's, a that's Thievery, and it would do like, you know, 9,999. Frog name. Drop from Quinna, the weird oh, tongue yeah. character. He's uh, S slash he or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's how I beat him. I just spam that over and over. I used Shock and... I used... That's from Steiner, right? Yeah. Shock and Dragon's Crest just did max damage yeah. against them. So this is kind of the low points of the game when you have to do platforming. It just doesn't work. Specifically platforming going up a ramp. Yeah, the so game has a few issues with jumping out of platforms, sticking out of ramps. Yeah, and a lot of times I will do my best to bypass it by just doing a, like a huge jump or spin dashing over it because I don't want to engage in platforming in this. It's a mess. I don't have too much trouble with that, but later on, like I have yeah. to cut because it took so long. Kept like clipping through the... Um, the platform. When you're sliding down. Yeah. You can't land on a platform frequently. Mm -hmm. And and uh, we spent, we'll call it some time. Yeah. But here, uh, sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> like doing that legit is so hard. Don't even bother. Just spin dash and just bypass that whole segment. My platform, you can skip. I agree. Yes. Hey, it's Vector. 
Yep. Just do they bring Vector back when she's in Sonic yeah. Heroes? Oh yeah, he he appears in uh, future Sonic games. But Espio doesn't, does he? I I think he does. Oh okay. I think so. How about how about the armadillo? No, I'm I'm pretty sure he he was the one that was supposed to be he Sonic. Was Sonic. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. No, he originally was Sonic, and they took Sonic out and they made the armadillo instead. So the speed boost in this game give you its own music? Yeah. Rather than just speeding up the tempo? Yeah. Whoa, that was creepy. Yeah, that looked weird. <laughs> Not sure how I didn't get hurt there. Indeed. Alright, I'll fly. I want my extra life. Mm-hmm. So interesting thing about the life counter is you will go to nine and then it will stop counting. I mean, it'll still it'll still count your lives, but it won't but say like ten. Nine. Yeah, it's stuck on nine. It doesn't tell you how many nines you have? No. <laughs> there was a 3D isometric game on the NES that I was like called Snake Rattle and Roll. Uh, as far as uh, isometric games go, I know. Final Fantasy Tactics was one, mm -hmm. and uh, I think there was a Spot Goes to Hollywood, a cool spot game that yeah. was isometric. I don't have it, but I know of its existence. So, the big pillar from just a second ago, mm -hmm. that wasn't in the original, was it? It was, but it was smaller. It was just a regular pillar? Yeah, and a lot of times they'll have like an extra life or a hidden power-up behind those things. I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, screw Skip you, platforming. <laughs> <laughs> what would a platformer be without platforms? Oh, no. On that note. That's a bad news to you, the internet. Yeah, there's a new Bubsy game coming out. <laughs> and I mean, this one, knowing how she owns all of them already. It was a joke. Like, the first game, I think, is decent. The other games are garbo. I would say garbo. the first game is like a C-tier platform. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. It's, it's playable, It, it, it got good marks for its, its time. Um, it was known for having good animation. It, you know what's been pissing me off is, like, all these kitties that were born... No offense to anyone that's watching that, you know, was born in, like, you know, 2000 and later. But they have never actually played the games, nor were they alive during the period that, you know, they had Bubsy. And they're just all circle jerking about how bad the games are. And it's like, if you actually played them, the first one isn't that bad. It really isn't. And it's definitely not great, but no, it's, but it's, it's not pretty playable, pretty enjoyable. The, the first, you consider, consider it in the context of its time. Yes, it was okay for its time. In fact, on my Twitter, I even linked a uh, website that has old reviews, and it got decent marks. Okay, now I'll, I'll get back to Bubsy later. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to be said. <laughs> there's, yeah, but this, this boss right here, it it was a little different. The hitbox on the boss. In the Genesis version, I couldn't figure out why I kept getting hit, yeah, but his, his, the arm on the cat paw. Yeah, it hurts you in this version. Out. Yeah, and I was like, why am I taking damage? But yeah, they changed that a bit. Um, but uh, I figured it out. It's simple enough. Yeah, some of the bosses there's death on later on, but this one at least we're still yeah, looking good. still looking good. This is one of the, I think the more interesting bosses, just because. He's cool looking. I don't know, like weird stone ancient cat statue that was repurposed into becoming a Robotnik death machine. Yeah. It's like, that, that's a good eye, Robotnik, seeing something and, and taking use of what you already have. Yeah. And and I understand why the Flickies would have a cat statue as as a, a death god or something, because they're birds, <laughs> yeah. they're afraid of cats. It makes sense. Yeah, it does. It does. Given how slow you move, at least to start with in this game, it seems like they didn't quite give you enough time before the rings vanish. Yeah, that's true. But a, a lot of these bosses boil down to knowing, you know, what to hit and what you can and cannot touch. And it's not necessarily completely obvious. No, it's not. You know, the the bosses towards the last boss in particular. Yeah, it's see. yeah, it's kind of hard to figure out what you're supposed to hit. It takes hey, a bit. Good news. Load time. Load time. My favorite. Load times. Yay. Hooray. No. <laughs> Damn you, Saturn. <laughs> In fairness, I do believe this would work a little bit better 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Yeah. So are you saying that you think your Saturn lo loads a little bit longer than most Saturns because it's old? Is All that what Saturns you're are old. No, no, what I'm saying is, if you back in the day, would this, load, would this load faster back in the day? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, no, not this level. Oh, this shit. Level is really garish. It, it's more bizarre looking on this version. Uh, in the Genesis version, I 
kind of jokingly called it Candy Cane Land because it was mostly just, you know, red and white. But they. Candy Cane Land. McDonald. Yeah, Yeah, McDonald Candy Cane Land. Yeah. But in this version, because Saturn, you have more colors to work with, they made the blue and green tiles. That's. That's different, and there's just so much stuff going. It, this this level yeah, is a cluster. Like see stuff easily. Yeah, just I'll point it out. It, it, there were like these little spikes. That well, there were spikes on the floor, and they're really hard to see in this version. And I was like, what what hit me? And um, but like little spinning things. That's new. They added a few new things compared to the Genesis version. Is that Spider from old Sonic games? No. Oh. No, he's cool looking though. I like him. He sure is. Yeah. I always like the designs of uh, Sonic enemies. So do I. Oh, that uh, green guy blends in. And he's being a jerk. That, the green, yeah, the green flicking needs to be removed from the flicky genetic pool. Because they're dumb. Okay, that's cool. The Robotnik land, that set piece right there was not in the Genesis version. And that balloon, the Eggman balloon, mm-hmm. see it? Yeah. That's new too, to this version. How about the crab? That was a Sonic enemy, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, they had a crab in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but that one is kind of different looking. Okay. And yes, you can use those balloons to, uh, you know, jump over things, but as long as you jump, uh, as soon as you land, you're fine with the spikes. In this game, trying to tell, in this level, trying to tell what you can walk on, what you can't, like these yellow bricks, there's no reason to my mind why you shouldn't be able to walk on all these yeah. flat, yeah. not like pits and holes. I don't get it, Yeah. but you're just not allowed to. And at this point, we're kind of stuck. We've only found two birds so far, and it's like, what are we looking for here? Yeah, this... Spinning stars? Both in this version and the Sega Genesis version, this is my least favorite world. It's just dumb looking, and it's not fun. And this this version makes it more crazy. Mm-hmm. This is yeah, awkward. This is a sprawling level. It is large. Yeah, it's, it's a big level, and some of the platforming is awkward. Just because it's on a slope. And here, you know that there's got to be something somewhere. Yeah. It's such a big area. Yay, flicky. So you can hit that puffer fish as long as it's not puffed up, and then you'll take damage. And what's that guy's name? I I don't remember. Oh. It's not I, a classic. I vividly remember him though. Even if he doesn't look exactly the same, I assume he's got the he's same. He's similar. Uh, he's similar to Bubbles from uh, Sonic Three Knuckles. They That's, had a little yeah. puffer, the, but he was blue in that one. That robot McBlunt is I like it. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> th- y- this game does have some cool new things. I'm like, nope, can't get it. I need another flicky. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just drop it off here. Yeah, after chasing after that green one. <laughs> the, the only penalty you get is you don't get a bigger flicky bonus, but who cares? I mean... <laughs> yeah, that could not matter less. Yeah. And I try to save my shields in case, you know, because the best thing I can recommend is try to always have a shield in this game at all times. For exactly that purpose right there. Yeah. So I'm like, great, I'm missing something, I have to backtrack. And I found it. Jitterbug. <laughs> Alright. Like, oh no. Yeah. Bah. My shield! <laughs> it only lasted 10 seconds. It bounced all over the place. Yeah. I guess this is the token, like, carnival casino pinball level that I most Sonic it's games the have. Closest to, but. Yeah. That's a kind of cool pipe right there. Yeah. No, this game has really good set pieces. Mm-hmm. Even for the Genesis version. I'm like, I mean, yes. That was in the Genesis version. Yeah. Remember yeah, it was. It was. Hey, like, there's that one jerk me now. Tails hanging out. Trying to steal your rings. Hanging out with your tails. But but here's here's my question. So Tails and Knuckles are helping Sonic, so why are they charging him rings? Or why are they not actually helping Sonic save the birds? Yeah. Like, Knuckles, that definitely sounds like something he would do. Yeah, but not Tails. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you just get screwed over with hit detection in this game. But, I mean, it's alright. Alright, crab. Oh, my birds got hurt. Oh, yeah, the birds can take damage yeah. too. That's funny. Can they lose their shields? Yeah. Well, when you... Yeah, they can. But, but I, on their own, can they? Oh, I'm not sure. I think they, they just take damage and you lose them. We don't have shield right now, but no. get one, I'll try to point it out. Yeah. The flickies get little shields of themselves. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, you can bounce those balloons, or you can spin dash over and who cares? Yeah, I prefer the who cares one. <laughs> <laughs> There's, oh, that jerk. Yeah, stalking jerks. 
And then they have that flag. I don't know if that was in the Genesis version. I'm getting blasted here. I think I was there already. Mm -hmm. But like we said, these particular levels are rather... This is the low point. Amazing. Yeah, this is the low point of the game. I, I really don't like this level. I didn't like it in the Genesis version either, so... But yeah, so Bubsy's back. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to remember that. You know, it makes me sad because I'm like, you know, we could have had new Streets of Rage game. We could have had new Ristar game. We get Bubsy. Yeah. Why? Rather than Ristar, we get Bubsy. Yeah. You know, like, the first game was alright, the second game was bad. And, um, Jaguar game, we, we, we need to play that more. It, but it, it, we haven't finished it? It, it seemed like, like my first... Oh no, they took a hit. Yeah, my first impressions would be between, like, it's not as good as... Well, I say good loosely. Not as good as the first game, but... Not as bad as the second game. It's got some problems. Like, yeah. you have to do these weird maze things to unlock doors. Yeah, and that just slows down the uh, the gameplay. And you don't really know what or why things are, what's happening or why it's happening. Mm -hmm. And it seems like a pointless memorization puzzle. Yeah. And I, the, the couple of us who tried to play it, neither of us really felt like doing that. Yeah, well, the other problem is. You know, it's on the Jaguar, but the graphics didn't look that much better than, um, like, the SNES or the Genesis version. The backgrounds looked better, and that's it. Yeah. And, and they looked better in that there was a, a better color gradation. Yeah. It, it reminded me of, like, a 32X background, if you will. It yeah. definitely didn't say, hey, this game right here, this sells me on the Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. When if anything, it'd probably make you not want to buy a Jaguar. <laughs> like, like Atari paid Accolade to make it some some amount. I don't remember exactly what the deal is, but Accolade made it because Atari like helped fund it. And Atari was hoping that Bubsy would kind of like be their mascot game selling. Well, guy. I mean, I could see that they're cats, you know, the Jaguar and Bobcat. Yeah, but it, that really shows me how little Atari understood video games. By yeah, that point. yeah. Cause now getting to Bubsy 3D. Sorry. There is absolutely no defending that game. It wasn't even finished. When I played it, um, I got that game. I, if you watched my previous Let's Plays, the only reason why I got Bubsy 3D was because it was packed in with a game that I actually wanted and is a very good game, Gex. Um, 2D side-scroller with the Gecko. And, um... Oh, this part. So... Yeah, sorry. I'll, I'll stop talking. Ugh, can't talk. Talking about Bubsy, but see the little dots there? There's spears. Yeah, there's spears that come up, and that's so hard for me to see in this version. I was like, what's hitting me? And then I figured it out, but... Yeah, it, they blend in with the already there black line, yeah. but also with the dark colored uh, green and blue alternate yeah. squares. Yeah, that was, that was easier to see in the Genesis version, but getting back to Bubsy 3D real fast, Sorry. let me just finish my thought. Um, yeah, it was crap. It's not even finished. I played the first level, and then I'm like, this is bad. I put it away, never touched it again. And I went back to playing Spyro the Dragon. Well, game that he like... can either turn or he can run, but he cannot do both. Like, it, it's just terrible. Like, nothing's finished in that game. It's it's gross. There's no textures. It's just a bunch of... It's, it's bad. And it just, like, it, it shocks me that they brought him back. You know? Well, what's funny is they apparently expected people to like the game a lot, and then they they saw Super Mario 64. And they're like, oh crap! Showing Bubsy, <laughs> and they're like, oh. Yeah, oh. we're in trouble now. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe uh, the new Bubsy game will finally win the Gold X Award. No, the, the award Bubsy that doesn't Brady exist. Won the Gold X Award. <laughs> the award that doesn't even exist. What are you talking about? Bubsy 3D got it. Uh, it was given out by Accolade. It's a Bubsy 3D. <laughs> I like how they're just hanging out there. Knuckles hey, son, and tails. What's up? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't like the song in this level. It's just not my taste. No, it's a little bit too crazy. I, I think that it sounds. It's apt. appropriate. It's, you know, yeah. Peppy carnival music, and that makes sense. But I don't. It's yeah. Not my thing. No. This level's already pissing me off, so I don't need more. Oh, no, the green one is off. I should just leave the green one to die, but unfortunately you have to save them to what progress. He is a jerk. He's stupid. So in Japan, uh, they had a UFO catcher, and they had some flicky stuffed animals. They had a blue one. I'd kind of like to get that. Yeah. Get flickies to make a dumb picture for a flicky playthrough. <laughs> yeah. I like that game. Yeah, Flicky's fun. We yeah. haven't finished it. I mean, w what other game is going to allow you to throw hot coffee at iguanas yeah. and cats? Yeah. <laughs> 
She's not the biggest cat person. I'm more of a dog person. Or a lizard person. Why would you want to I love animals? lizards. I know. I like lizards. <laughs> Alright, last segment. Yeah, it's it's a sad day when, you know, you get Bubsy oh, over Ristar or a game that was actually good that you want to be revived. <laughs> I, it's funny. I expect weird off-brand things. Like, what about Echo the Dolphin? I, I know the creator, Echo the Dolphin, he made a Kickstarter but didn't get all the funny. I feel like tweeting him and be like, what the hell, man? <laughs> Why'd you let this happen? <laughs> this part's kind of cool, jumping from balloon to balloon. This is the only part where you actually have to do this. Yeah. And you're supposed to hit all three, but... I was like, nope. Two. Nope. I'm gonna shortcut it. But I expect weird off-brand dumb games from the 90s to come back now before I expect good games that were underappreciated. They brought back uh, Alex Kidd, didn't they? Did I think I think so. No. Yeah. They I think brought back Wonder Boy. Or Wonder Boy. I thought they were also doing Alex Kidd. They, I they have I've heard about it, but Alex Kidd's like the Sega property. Yeah, I thought I thought they were bringing him back. Well, maybe they are. Maybe I'm just out of the loop. I don't know. I'm 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 out of the loop too. I'm not a big fan of modern games. Kind of like you buy a game and then you have to wait 20 minutes for a patch because nothing's finished ever no. anymore. Like the Tekken 7 game. <laughs> like online was Tekken busted. Later. Only until yesterday did they actually have a patch that fi fixes matchmaking. Now I will give them credit. It only it only took them a singular week to get it to where the game yeah. was able to play online. And Street Fighter 5. You'll notice I haven't uploaded a Street Fighter 5 video in two months. That game is still, as far as I'm concerned, in the beta form. And it's not finished. And, ugh. You know a game's bad when it makes me go back to Cross Tekken. Which I like. I like the But I also <laughs> went back to ST. Super Turbo. <laughs> back to? You never played it before. Yeah, I did. I tried to. Before oh. I was... My, my mom's like, no, this is too violent. Bans it. <laughs> <laughs> ST. That game right there. You know how mothers were in the 90s are concerned about violence, like Mortal Kombat being bad. Yeah, I don't think they care about that anymore. No. I don't know. I'm not sure what the mothers no, care about No, now, there, there's ki kids playing like Grand Theft Auto, and that stuff's like realistically violent. I sort don't know. of. Sort of, kind of. <laughs> now this one's a little bit different than the Genesis version. Um, he, he seems to be more aggressive with the stomps towards the end. Mm-hmm. This one also seems cat-like to me. Yeah, it is cat claws. Are you telling me that Robotnik is a cat person? No, they're <laughs> they're saying cats are evil. Person? Are they saying cats are evil? Or are they just saying that evil people like them? I, I don't know. Maybe he's just a cat person. I think this is one of your worst robots, Robotnik. You do not have good ideas in no. this flicky island, just nope. so you know. Well, no, I like the cat statue. Cat statue. Okay. But that's not really his. That's him using old, just repurposing ancient... Just old yes. stuff, yeah. You're right. He stole that. You're right. I was wrong. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's pretty straightforward. Don't die. Get your rings when you lose them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sonic, you could have killed him. No, like I like this. This is he's really aggressive. He will track you a lot more aggressively in this version. But I, I got the last hit. It so. seems to me that if you jump from far away, you're kind of guaranteed to hit. But if you jump from up close, you just get. I don't know. It's I, it's I, hard I, to tell sometimes in these games. But either way, you get a reward for winning this one, unlike most stages. Oh, games. I know. I get my load screen. Loading. Mm -hmm. That's your reward. It's such a good reward, yeah. I'm a big fan. No. <laughs> You're not a big fan of loading? Mm -mm. Liar. Why are you playing this game? This next level's pretty cool. Ugh. You really said that? I like it. Oh, God. <laughs> we, we need to have you sign up for a Bubsy contract with the bad puns. They, they can hire you. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> loading? Loading! Loading, loading. This is a really good song in the um, Sega Genesis version. I even did a piano arrangement of it, if you guys want to find it on my channel. Uh, but this this is good. This is more atmospheric as well. It's very Christmassy. Yes. <laughs> I forgot that the snowman hurts you. <laughs> and it's snowing. That's something they couldn't do in the uh, Genesis version. 
I do like the snowflakes. Or at least they didn't. When we saw the uh, the uh, rain effect of the second stage. Yeah. Uh, Estal here mentioned she was looking forward to seeing if there was snow in this stage. And there was. The game delivered. Hooray! And that snowman. Oh, that was a uh, cool bounce. That <laughs> snowman that I just uh, destroyed, he always gets me. I think I get hit by him every single time. I can never avoid him. What's the robot penguin's name? Uh, I think Penguinator, actually. Penguinator? Yeah. That's awesome! Yeah, he was in uh, Ice Cap that. Zone in Sonic 3. Mm -hmm. I remember the guy. Yeah. I like that sound effect. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a neat level. There's little secret passages, uh, like right here. You can spin dash through here. And there's a uh, frozen pond that you can jump through and get a warp. You'll do some of that in the next level, or at least in the next segment, maybe? I think I might try it over here, or not. But I do it at some point in this run, I do remember. Yay! Shield! Yeah. But no, this is a really good looking level. I like this level a lot. Likewise. Oh no. <laughs> Slippery. Ah, oh, the game's playing itself. Sonic games are just gimmicks. They're, just, they're crap. She has a point. Not like good games like Bubsy. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Stupid penguin. Alright. This level's actually making me sad because I love cold winter and it's the summer and it's disgusting out now. Yeah, it's 90 degrees yeah. outside today, I think. At least. I just noticed I have three derpy ones, derpy flickies following me in a row. Jerks. Yeah. What I like is doing the idle animation, the flickies circle around you. And they start eating off the ground. Yeah, but just the regular circle around, though, they show you how many flickies you have. It's yeah, it's useful. useful. Yeah. You can see if you're missing any. Yep. And the flicky count at the bottom only tells you how many flickies that you save from robots. It doesn't tell you how many flickies that are on you. Yes. Like if you got hit with an enemy or something. Yeah. And sometimes you can't really tell. The flickies are pretty small. I like the ice guy. I don't know what that. The what dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. Fossil. Ice fossil. Ice guy. <laughs> the ice guy. Yeah. I like the igloos in the mm -hmm. level. Oh no, it's Evil Frosty! I know, Evil Frosty gets me all the time. Evil Frosty. <laughs> the Clay Fighter guy, bad Mr. Frosty. Oh no. Isn't there a new Clay Fighters coming? I have no idea. Probably. If there's not, there will be. I mean, is there a new Shaq Fu coming? Yes, there is. That is true. What? There actually is. Oh, there's the little... Some of those can be broken and you mm -hmm. could move around. Yay! Yes. <laughs> It's a little warp. Make things easier if you forgot anything. Why are they bringing Shaq Fu back? Because they hate me and everything I stand for. Alright. Mm. All? Yeah. It looks like there's more snow now. It does. That's cool. Cranked up the snow enough. Yeah. It's a good effect. I like it. There's another one of those ice guys. Those yes. Famous ice guys. And that is the end of the level. Hooray! I'm like, I'm getting that. Those give you a continue eventually. Yeah, if you get enough of them. But I don't know how many continues I got in this run because I never lost enough lives to warrant yeah. <laughs> the use of a continue. <laughs> it's not the hardest game ever made. No. It's long, though. Definitely. Usually around this point, I start to get a little winded. Like, I'm getting bored. It, I wish I could save, but I can't. If it was a save functionality, we could do this in like two shots. It would have been a much more pleasant ride. Yeah, but just got to grind it out. Mm -hmm. Load time. Hooray. Yay. Everyone's favorite. Yeah. Loading. Ugh. And it's a good thing I haven't died yet, because when you die, then the game has to load again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll you'll see eventually. Yeah, we, we leave one of those in, just so I could show you guys. <sighs> Though it also was the same thing as the, the half pipe. Yeah. Yeah. I go back to see if there's a hidden item. There wasn't. There's evil, yay. evil Frosty. He exploded. Exploding Frosty. Some of the Frosties have flickies, but most of them don't. Yeah, not the exploding ones. Yeah, just the uh, the gunners. Why did 
this green guy's going? What is he's oh no! Avoiding me because they're d look. He's like he's like no screw Sonic. I don't want to be rescued. I hate this place. I yeah. Hate this guy. This guy's a jerk. Yeah. That every time, every time, flip. like every time, even in the Genesis version, he gets me every single time. I've never been able to really avoid him. Is that all five? No, missing one. All right. And there's that idol pose I was talking about. Oh, you know what? These flickies just reminded me. Um, the Archie comics had a uh, special Sonic uh, Blast comic, and they had flickies in it. Did they? Yeah, I need to make a video on Archie comics because they might have canceled the Sonic comics. I, I hope not. I have the first, the first uh, issue. I almost said the first episode. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's issue, not episode. She's a, a shelf, not shelf, but a like a basket full, full of, of them. Yeah, I had so many of them. Like, I kind of fell off, but you know that still makes me sad if they're canceling it. I think they're much more interested in the X Men comics that I had as a kid. <laughs> I, I think what Archie's trying to do right now is push the uh, Riverdale, um, mm -hmm. IP. I mean, it kind of makes sense to I me. Mean, there's way more money in television than there is in... I'm surprised comics. the Sonic comics have been going as long as they have. Yeah, it is rather shocking, yeah. frankly. Yeah, I'll probably make a video on my Sonic comic collection at some point. That guy. Well, this is post-commentary, so I can't do anything about that. There you go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> What's your favorite flicky? Uh... Clearly the green one, because the most hilarious oh. things happen. No, the blue. There's, um... The traditional blue. I like the... The green one's a jerk. There's a so female red one. My favorite is the female red one, and you only see it on the lava level. I'll point it out when and we get to it. you know it's a female because... It looks like it has hair. Okay. Like, well, I mean, guys can... Oh, God. Guys can have hair. This is the year 2017. I, I, I have to watch what I say. I think it's a female because it has eyelashes and it has long hair. It's like a ponytail, fluffy hair. I'm not saying that guys can't have that, but I would assume... You heard it first here, guys. Uh, FML. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry if I offended anyone. I'm, I'm offended. I've had long hair before. Yeah, I know you have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about due for a haircut now, though, honestly. Ooh, these levels do tend to drag on. They do, eventually. yeah. Well, the the last couple of levels, they're super short, but they have like one obnoxious platforming section that drags out the level. However, most of the last couple of levels, I think, are the best levels in the game. Well, yeah, because one of them, you don't even have to rescue uh, Flickies. We'll talk a bit more about that when we get there. It kind yeah. of shows you what could have been rather than what is. Yeah, it's funny. It's like, hey, this was actually fun. For a minute, I actually felt like I was playing a Sonic game. Why wasn't the game more like this? Yeah, on Sonic, there's usually like enemies teaming all over the place, but in this game, because of the gimmick, there's only five enemies per level. And these levels are, you know, time-consuming. They take about a minute a level. Uh, a minute, about a minute an enemy. Yeah. Like, if you have a five-minute level. Sometimes longer. Yeah. But it is time for a boss. I'm trying to remember what was this one like. I don't even remember. Oh, oh this yeah, one. This guy. You hit him and you lose the thing. Yeah, this is kind of like a the Sonic CD underwater one. When you would have to, he had like something similar, bubbles, and you hit the bubbles to damage him. Mm -hmm. And Robotnik is him, yeah. utilizing evil snowmen. I think this is the same tactic used in the last time. If you jump from far away, you get to damage him. If you jump from close, you're just gonna get blasted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got that cool laugh in this game. Yeah, in the Sonic CD uh, boss, they had a laugh in the song. Did they? That's interesting. I'd forgotten that. Yeah. We should do Let's Play that at some point. We should. I can get my stupid Sega CD to work. Yeah. It's been annoying lately. Yeah, too bad the rubber band fix isn't lasting that long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. That this coffee fight, was good. Sorry, this has nothing to do with anything. I'm just saying that coffee was good. This fight kind of gets easier over time. Yeah, it does. Say, just because he loses attack. Yeah. Angles. Oh, 
I feel like it's funny that the snowmen are never moving, they're just there. You know, Robotnik could put this machine to good use and like... You did it! He can decorate people's front lawn with snowmen. Oh, that's an interesting And make a living off of that. Yeah, yeah just well, put snowmen out. Yeah, just take out the exploding part. <laughs> or, or stop doing that and just make like a weird snow cone making machine. Yeah. <laughs> drive around the south make a snow cones for kids. Yes. <laughs> totally not creepy. <laughs> Well, <laughs> don't you don't, don't you remember what I told you the other day about the uh, Sonic anime? They, they made a uh, Sonic CD movie or something, and like Robotnik wanted to marry a little girl. <laughs> it was so wrong. That is, it was creepy. It's the most Sonic thing that could happen. No, no. Uh, we should probably watch that at some point. <laughs> Watching trash. <laughs> this level's got a cool song. Yes, in both versions, I like it. Mm -hmm. And you can jump on those little blocks. Sometimes you. Did that you... guy have an name? I'm sorry, what? Did that guy have a name? Uh, no, that I. I don't think so. That was okay. kind of a unique one. Same with that. Robo Flicky? Robo Flicky. <laughs> so yeah, you can jump on those, and occasionally there'll be a little hole. And you can go in there, and it'll take you to where you need to go, or an extra life, or something. This level is the one that really shows you why shield is good. Oh, yeah. Things can go to hell quickly. Oh no, you got Ladybug. I, I did. Ugh. Ah, this guy. Yeah, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna just stand in one space. I'll eventually come to you. Yeah. The uh, crystals have better colors in this version. I don't think they had any blue ones in the uh, Genesis version. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. There's more colors. And I'm having fun d right now. <laughs> I think at this point, I'm like, I really need a shield. So I think... Um, or at this point, I think you go and drop these four guys. Yeah, down. I do that too. So like, ugh, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> just get rid of them. Then if you take damage, you just lose ranks. Yeah, one of the worst things that can happen is when you take damage on lava, and then the flickies are just... Hanging out in the lava. Yeah. But... I found my shield. Behold the power of the shield. Yes. I'm like, whoops. It lets you go back into places that you don't want to go. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm missing a flicky. I'm unfortunately going to have to backtrack and just find it now. running through this stuff now. It doesn't yeah. hurt you. Yeah, I'm like, can I go over there? No. Can't. There's a fake wall. You might be able to jump up, though. Skip just a little bit. Once you have the uh, the fire shield, this level can becomes more or less trivial. Yeah. I'm like, no, it's not the right place. Maybe it's here. Yep. No, it's not. That's. I was like, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to. Oh, it's just kind of a trick of the uh, the ice. Yeah. Point. Found it. You did it. I think that's the. I can't tell. So it has a shield. That that might be the one that you only get on this level. Mm -hmm. Female-looking flicky. Just run around like a, a jerk. Well, I mean, I got what I need. I can go to the next segment. Mm -hmm. With the fire shield in tow. Yep. And the tree burning, that's that's new. They yeah. didn't have that in the Genesis version. I wonder about that tree. There's a lot of these burning trees. Did the place just erupt recently? Is that what's going on? I don't know. Because otherwise, it's like, how do these trees grow here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that orange tile on the ground hurt you if you don't have the shield? Yes. Yeah, it's lava. Just making sure. And I'm trying so hard not to get that shield. Because, <laughs> it, it, yeah, it cancels out my... Definitely better. Yeah. And this is a throwback to Lava Reef Zone in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. They had a uh, little elevator very similar to that, and you would have to spin to get it to go up and down. I thought that was neat that they put that in. You did it! Yay! That looks like frosting. The... Some of the lava looks like frosting to me. 
I, the ones that are static, you don't see it? I'm sorry. Cake frosting. Oh, yeah. I, it's like leaking down. I, yes. I guess I do see it. Yeah. Right? Now I'm hungry. Apparently <laughs> hungry for cake. I'll get more coffee later. Alright. I wonder if anything could be in the middle of this. Yeah, it looks a little suspicious. Oh like... my! <laughs> there was something there. Whatever could it be? I'm like, I'll just leave this here in case I need it. Yeah. No reason to double up on shield. Mm -hmm. Lose him at any point. Yep. Like that. <laughs> well, better go get that shield. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I highly respect the I'm gonna come back with the shield. Yeah, sorry, sorry flickies. Yeah. Just You're gonna have to wait there. Yeah, <laughs> try not to die. Look at the green one. He's like, ah. Burning up. Good. Yeah. Right. Is it the first or the second level? I can't remember. I think it's the first. Okay. I don't. See, that's the problem with this game. Sometimes you just. It all kind of. It looks the same. Together. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, essentially, you're doing the same thing on every level. The boss of this level is a jerk. One of the low points of the game. Oh my gosh! I actually had good luck with it. I remember when I played the Sega Genesis version, like I died a lot yeah, on him. We ran through it pretty recently, just for fun, and didn't record. But it was not the easiest thing. No, it was. It went bad. Let me see what act was this. Probably act one. Loading? Yes, act one. All right. But hey, more that was time. long. Well, I kind of got lost at the beginning. I couldn't find that one flicky. So that kind of dragged it on. Hour. It's been an hour. I'm oh, looking man. at. <laughs> this game is not the shortest of games. No. <laughs> no, and there's no save feature. After this, there's two zones left? Something like that. I don't know. Oh my god. But yeah, if ever a game warranted a save point, it's a two hour long platform. Yeah. Yeah. on a late CD system. <laughs> it's just really no excuse that they didn't have a save feature for this game. Yeah. I, I was know. I was like, what? I didn't know I could walk off there. This particular level is going to, memory serve, take a while due to hilarity involved. Uh, yeah, at the very end, I think, like, something dumb happens. And you'll get to see exactly what makes this level so cool. <laughs> yeah. Who cares about the ring? Get the shield. Yeah. <laughs> I like the jump rope of lava. I think it's cool. I think so. Too. It's a neat effect. Neat. Yeah. Whoa. Those spikes look better in this version. The mm -hmm. rotating spikes. More obvious what they are. Oh no, you were stuck on a hill. Okay, you made yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, this is awkward. <laughs> Alright. But I do like how colorful this game is. They did a good job with the colors. It's colorful in the Genesis version too, but especially the Saturn. I think they did a good job making it look even better. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out when you have like a million on-screen colors, whatever, things may look better. Mm-hmm. It's just a shame that the Saturn didn't get a legitimate, like, exclusive yeah, Sonic I game. I looking back on everything, knowing what I do now, I think the Saturn has my favorite hardware of that generation. Like I think it was too early for everyone to make the jump to 3D. And like Saturn has you know, it doesn't have a ton of games, that's true, but at the same time, it has more games than the N sixty four, both locally and abroad. Yeah. It's it's a shame that it didn't do a little bit better than it did. Well, Sega CD and the 32X brought it down. Yeah, and Sega in Japan versus Sega America. Yeah, it hating each other. Competition. Yeah. Was dumb. Yeah, and then they get it right with the Dreamcast, and then it was too late. Yeah. Ugh. Makes me like, sad. I wonder if the 32X never been released. It hadn't wasted money developing. Hadn't wasted. Hadn't uh, lost public opinion by selling it. You know, would the Dreamcast have lived? Another lo while longer? I mean, they, I so. I, it might have, yeah. Well, well I mean, it, it was stupid because, like, the 32X is like, J just make another system because you would have to also have a Sega as well. Yeah, the idea was 160 bucks to dip your toe into the 32-bit generation or whatever. 
but... Yeah, you know, just bad decisions uh, brought the company down. Mm -hmm. Like, as far as a cheap idea to get better games go, I think they should have just not had it and just had the Saturn. Yeah. I remember reading something somewhere that in, like, a bizarro world, right, that Sega was, that Sega of America was foretelling where the Jaguar took off and became, like, the number one seller. <laughs> oh my god, no one wanted the Jaguar. No one cared. I uh, picked one up later, and yeah. there's there's a few games that are worth playing, but by and large, like well, here's the games the, the big problem with the Jaguar back in the day, from what I remember, is people would look at it and you know they would. I think the slogan was "Do the math," but the games didn't look that much better than say like a Super Nintendo or a Sega Genesis. They that's didn't, true. and that's why people were like, "No, this isn't that good." What's the point? Well, like games definitely could have looked better. And some games were very much games you couldn't do easily on a 16-bit uh, era platform. Mm -hmm. If you look at, say, Tempest 2000, yeah, you probably could have done stuff like that involving, uh... Oh no, you lost the hey, Yeah, this is the part that gets a little, uh, frustrating. Not cool. <laughs> Not cool. Yeah, in retrospect, maybe we should have dropped off those flickies the first time. Yeah, yeah, I should have done that. Oh no! And then it just goes to shit. <laughs> it spirals down yeah. here. That's two. And the green one is just going the opposite direction. Yeah, you're just hanging out in lava town. I'm just waiting here. I'm like, please come over here. He did, I got lucky. Is that all five of them? I think so. Well, that's good. Alright. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh. But I got lucky. I landed on the other green one well, that was one, actively like, avoiding me. He went the useful way rather than the uh, <laughs> I hate you way. Yeah. Which is surprising for those green jerks. Yeah. Speaking of jerks, now it's time for the jerk boss. <laughs> this yeah. guy is funny. Uh, it's just about landing on the right spot, and it's so hard to do because it's hard to tell where you're at in this I game. I think that you just have to stop before jumping down, and then jump while moving yourself exactly like one block and then land, and then go from there. Mm -hmm. But if you try to keep moving while you're doing everything without ever stopping twice, yeah. then uh, it seems like you just always hit the lava. This is not exactly a fun fight. No. No, but I did better than I did when I played on the Genesis, at least. Mm -hmm. A lot better. <laughs> I love that laugh. It's so good. So, this is funny. I'm like, hey, what's going on with the camera? <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting- I was like, where am I? Crap! That one was a pretty cool one. <laughs> and I'm just getting harassed. That thing tracks you really aggressively here. So basically, you need to jump on the pipes, and it's easier said than done. It's it's hard to tell where you are when you jump. Because the, the shadow disappears for whatever reason briefly when you jump over it, and I use the shadow to gauge where I'm at. So I'm like, ugh, this sucks. So, the, the trick, like I was saying, is just know where you are, and oh. hey, you got a hit. Easier oh, no. said than done. I'm like, yeah, I'm screwed now. Wait, now I got a ring. Uh, a ring. A ring. It might be more on, like, the right platform, I can't remember. I'm just trying to get distance from the... the I, yeah, it just... Kill him. <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> no, I think I, I think I die at some point. During this, right probably here. Right. Yeah, I don't. No I, I don't. Oh, I, I, I clip right through. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm like, screw it. Or just yeah. Just try and fail. So this is what happens when you die in this game. It loads. It, it proudly it tells proudly, you. It proudly, proudly it's tells so you it is loading. Well, the good news is I, I get my stuff together and I, I think I take them out this time. Yes. Yeah. Somehow, managed to pull it together. That's excellent. And when I say manage to pull together, I get really lucky every time I try and jump on the platform. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, don't don't die in this game and don't get emeralds, because well, I mean, if you like loading, do it. <laughs> if you like loading, this really is the game for you. Oh yeah, it is. That and Sonic 06. Sonic games are now uh, famous for loading. <laughs> Nice job, Sega. I'm so proud of you. I like it when it has to load a load screen. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that is actually really funny. It's like, why don't you... <sighs> yeah. 
That's three hits. Oh no, you jumped into him. Four. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oops, I don't want to get all those rings. Oh well. Yeah. I accidentally slid into is is janky. Yeah. yeah. How many? Who's was that? Five? Six. Six? I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna just four, do four, four. it. <laughs> oh no! I have to land there again. I don't think there's any rings left. I'm like, oh crap. I thought there was. I think that's what was going through my mind. I wasn't keeping track. I got so oh, lucky. Oh wow, you that, were like that was luck. Yes, lava. that was. I got lucky on that. Can you can you move after you've killed Robotnik? Yeah, but I didn't want to. Can you walk into the lava? I'm pretty sure you could. Yeah. <laughs> could you I don't, I don't die? see. Yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't. <laughs> I didn't want to test it there, Thanks, but I'm pretty sure you could. Yeah. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to take damage. Seventy minutes. Ugh. <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> My hat is off to anyone that has stuck it out this long into this Let's Play. No, that that bot has already downvoted it three times with his multiple accounts. Multiple bot accounts. Yeah. Download bot. Because <laughs> reasons. Gene Gadget. Is this the last zone, or is there? No, there's one. After there's this one more. Part. I the do like how the the, the tiles look cool. They have like this like. Techno rubbery, squeak. yeah, techno squeak. They had this uh, rubbery texture going on that wasn't in the Genesis version, so it does look better. But yeah, that it's kind of loosely based off of techno squeak, a little mouse enemy that you'll see in Flying uh, Battery Zone in Sock Three Knuckles. And I'm having fun here. Not easy to get no. those guys when that jerk is spinning around shooting. No, um, the the next levels at this point are really frustrating. They really start placing the enemies. Um, or the flickies that you need to rescue where hazards are, it, it's just, it gets frustrating. But at the same time, the levels themselves are just the shorter. Short. Yeah. Shorter, but more frustrating. Yeah, they have a concentrated frustration point. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like the music in these levels. It's like a rave music thing going on. I don't know. Techno. Yeah, it goes. Glow sticks. <laughs> yes. It's a big fan of that. <laughs> genre of music techno squeak yeah I, i've always said this i might have said this in my previous let's plays but no matter how much sega can screw up they always get their music right mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah like look at this this is that's frustrating because you can't attack when you're floating so that was kind of yeah. a yeah it's frustrating <laughs> yeah if you stand still on these, you will you take damage. Will yeah. Get zapped. Yeah. So as long as you jump, as soon as you land, you're fine. I'm trying to shimmy that. Mm -hmm. Whenever I think of shimmy, I think of five. That's all you do is get someone in the corner. And then you either throw loop, shimmy, counter, uh, what is it called? Frame trap. <laughs> I almost said counter trap. <laughs> I mean, that's the same thing. <laughs> counter trap. Uh, yeah, that, that game makes me sad in its current state. I might go back to it. Maybe. If, if they fix it to be the game that I want it to be, then I'll play it. I doubt it. They, it they need to make more, normals more with punishable. Uh, yeah. They need to actually remove jab and ears. It seems like the things that I don't like are the things that they specifically want in this game. Yeah. To make it, I guess, different from 4. Yeah. Well, I'm having fun with cross Tekken, so I don't care. I'm having fun with actual Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> we may put up a few videos at some point, but I, I have to look good while playing it. Uh, it's not happening yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of casually mess around with it, but I haven't played 3D Fighters extensively that much, so I kind of don't know what I'm doing yet. Mm -hmm. And. I'd help you, but I'm really not qualified to help much. I don't <laughs> The blind know. leading the blind. Yes. <laughs> Bubbles comes back with a vengeance. Wow, that purple one really fades in. Yeah. And the green one does too. This level is full of jerk pallets. Jerk pallets? I like that. <laughs> oh no! Being a jerk. That weird looking octopus gun. But look at the green one! He's like trying actively, just avoiding trying me. Trying to get away yes. as fast as he can to put himself into the electric place. <laughs> I say just leave him. Not a nice flicky. No. It's all fat. It's too much. It's too much. 
Maybe that's why he's going away. He's looking for food. He doesn't want to be rescued. He's more inclined for food. You are in the first section now. Yeah, I'm missing something. I have to backtrack. Go all the way through this. Yeah. Man. yeah. It's not that bad because the level's pretty short. Yeah. And woo, looping, yeah. Mm hmm. I like the loops. Loops in this game are pretty cool. Yeah, they look nice. They're all automatic, though, but who cares? Yeah, the, a lot of things that make Sonic Sonic, if you will, wouldn't quite work in the genre, it feels like. Yeah. And knowing that, they took some liberties, but that's fine. Yeah, just backtracking, looking for the flicky. I mean, at this point, I'm just so sick of playing this. <laughs> yeah, the game does feel a little bit longish by yeah. now. <sighs> I mean, I just, I don't have much to say. Like, I'm. Right, right here, I think what happened is you hold a direction or something to yeah. go a different path once you go in here. Really? Maybe. No, I think you commit to a path whenever you go in one. Yeah, there it is. Look, I found it. Okay, well, never mind. It, at one point, I thought there might have been. A I don't know. That, but you're wrong. You know, this game kind of reminds me uh, of Sonic Labyrinth for the Game Gear. It was another isometric game, except it's notorious for being one of the, I guess, bad Sonic games because it's slow. The, the plot line is Dr. Robotnik found Sonic sleeping. Instead of just murdering him on the spot, he steals his shoes and replaces it with shoes that makes him slow. This scenario right here that you put, got yourself stuck in seems really miserable. I mean, that's what these last few levels are. They do that. They mm -hmm. just put stuff in horrible places. I think at this point I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna just drop him off and that's come back. Reasonable. But then I'm like, oh wait, no, there's not a ring there, so screw it. I'm gonna have to get it back. No, oh, I'm missing one. Oh, oh, I see the green one. There he is. Jerk. It would be the green one that I'm missing. Of course. That guy's a jerk. Yes. Hang on, his jerk palettes. Jerk palettes. <laughs> Trying to blend in. See, that? that's where there's the fork. I don't know if, if just, it just sends you here when you have five or what. That's in the level. X is now red instead of green. Hooray! But I got good news for you. What's the good news? Oh, let me guess. I'm gonna get to see a lovely loading screen. Loading is the good news. Oh, yay! So much loading. Looking back, I think we should have, like, taken all the loading screens. Oh, no, no. I want the world to know why the Saturn <laughs> failed. <laughs> the Saturn pisses me off. I'm gonna be real. Like, it's... They could have had, like, a cool Ristar game. They could have put Streets of Rage, Golden Axe. They could have made some really... There's a Golden Axe. No, I'm talking about, like, a legit... The 2D fighter. That doesn't count. I mean, like, an actual good 2D... Well, know. like, if you look at the popular genres from before, you end up with games like this, right? Sonic 3D Blast. You end up with, like, similar but different, not the same genre. <sighs> Saturn's just a waste opportunity. It makes me sad. The it makes me mad. Was they weren't willing to make the games that were cool in previous generations anymore look better at being that same game. I don't know, they, they had a handful of IPs so they didn't do anything with it. I mean, they did make some new good ones like yeah, Panzer Dragoon nice. and Knights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. And it had some good arcade ports, but I mean, uh, could have done more. Yeah. Like, I, looking back, I think I like the Saturn much. I don't. It makes me mad. Back when I was super into too many funny games, and it's like there was one platform you would go to and play. Oh, those. this part sucks. <laughs> this part's annoying. It's about to. Awful. Yeah. Whew. So these are the uh, platforms on ramps we talked about an hour ago. Where? <laughs> well, this where, isn't the part, but they no, start but to get frustrating. The the same concept though. If you're sliding on a ramp, you won't stop sliding once you hit a platform. You just go through it. Yeah. It just goes against all video game logic for me, and it frustrates me. <laughs> That was a cool kill on that, uh... Yeah, it was. I got lucky. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, tired of commentary, too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to save my game now. No, I think that... 
an hour long is about as much as I really want to talk about. Topic <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, like... We, we brought up Bubsy. It's like, what, what can we talk about? Uh, that jerk. Yeah. Like, before we start recording this, I'm like, I don't know how we're going to stretch this out. I mean, it, yeah. it, it's an isometric game that's just Kinda stuff. Sick. Yeah. Well, oh, no. people probably aren't, like, listening at this point. <laughs> if they are, then once again... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, he or she has fallen two or three times? Twice so far. And... Yeah, this part's dumb. Yeah. It, it's frustrating and get lost and... Uh. But the trick is to not consider it a Sonic game and try to more play it like it's Mario. It's... Oh, no. Slow. No. And it's just, not a Mario game, it's... Yeah, but you're purposefully jumping from one platform to the next. Yeah. Without, uh... Without... Without trying to retain momentum. Yay! It's That's the, the last one. Oh, no, he took a shield. But nothing bad can happen now. Shield or otherwise, right? Uh, I hope not. I don't remember. Oh, wait! Yeah, something does happen. That's yeah. Garbo. Yeah. <laughs> I like the song, though, at least. Back downstairs. I think I was looking to see if there was a shield that I yeah. missed. I'm like, please give me a shield. Mm -hmm. It's like, no. Nope. No dice, though. No. Nope. So I have to go down, or... I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I don't remember what I was thinking. Yeah, I was telling you to go down, I think. Uh, no! And then this happens. And there you go. Yeah. You know where to go now. I know where to go after I lose my flickies, and the green ones are long gone because they're dumb. At this point, I'm like, you'll drop those flickies off. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares about points? So I'm like, where is it? And there's one there. The answer is down the ramp. And I'm just trying to, and then, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Great. But somehow this flicky ended up up here. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a long distance that he tried. It is. Good thing you're still in memory. Didn't just disappear forever. I don't think that can happen in this game. No. There's so few objects that they wouldn't. I'm like, uh, great, I have to do this part again. This right here. This is cool. Sonic at its finest. I don't this know what you're what talking I about. I think of Sonic uh. I'm looking forward to uh, Sonic Mania at least. Sonic Mania it's looks it's good. looking good, yeah. I'm very much looking forward to that game. Yeah. That'd be funny if it sold better than 3D one, but I don't see that happening because I think it might is the funny thing. There, there's some kitties that like no offense if you're a kitty, but that are like, oh, 2D graphics are crap. And like they're not. They're just to me, when you have 2D and 3D, you're comparing like an apple and an orange. Mm -hmm. They're they're different things. I mean, just because it's 2D doesn't mean the graphics are bad. Okay, so all I have to do is get to the ring at this point, Almost and then I can move to the next section. <laughs> is this the first level? Uh, no. Oh, great. I think it's second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, this is like the most frustrating level in the game, I think. Because isn't this the part where they have the platforms the that I clip? I think that's the next level, but I'm not sure. I, wait, I thought this, was, I thought part, this was Act 2. It is Act 2, but isn't there another level after? There's more levels after this. I mean, there's a boss. Yeah, there's another level, but... Yeah, I remember where As far as this world goes, this is Act 2. Oh, yes. That's yes. all that I meant. I mean, there's yeah. another world. Yeah, like, I was losing patience. I want to take a break. It's playing this too long. Dropping that jerk off. Yep. Yeah, I agree. See, that's frustrating because you can't attack when you're floating, so you have to land on them like that. At this point, I was like, no, drop off the flicky. <laughs> <laughs> I, too, was growing tired. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing, backtracking. I think you have not if only it could backtrack and load, then we'd really be good. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how to get over that, and we did it somehow. Yeah, I was like, can I, I, didn't, I wasn't even sure if I can get up there, and I just, <laughs> like, I was like, can I get up there? Okay. 
And here, I literally did not know where I was. I, I didn't know wh what position like I was. Magic happened right there. Yeah. And we get the bird. I think I just stay in one spot because I'm like, ah. Uh. Eventually got it. Yeah. Down the hill. But that was getting over those spears was really weird. It looked strange to me. I really didn't know where I was. I just kind of got lucky. Being a jerk. Dropping off a jerk. Just one more. No problem here, right? Hope not. I don't remember. Ew. This part is this part terrible. This part kind of sucks, but isn't that bad. I mean, it's not the part, but just jumping on the spring, it's <laughs> so weird. Yeah, this is just not fun. Like, you would think I would be able to get up there, but momentum is just so wrong when it comes to platforming in this game. So I do apologize for floundering with these platforms. If you want, skip ahead. Because I don't think I cut this part. <laughs> so you're gonna just have to bear with me and watch it. I was telling her to jump on the small one, and or the skip lower one, and then just work your way up. See how you clip through them? That's well, frustrating. You'll, you'll get really good views of that later on. I'm pretty sure. Yay! I right, made it. Right there, you can do it. But if you if you slide any longer, yeah. That's all three. So all we gotta do now is drop, drop them off. off. The birds. Sell them at a pet shop. Is that what song? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. Intriguing. Wait, maybe this was Act 1. I'm starting to wonder now. All right, I'm, I'm all mixed up. Like, th these levels after a while... I think this is Act 2, and then we go on to the boss. The conveyor guy. Let, let but either see. way, we get yeah, it's Act two. loading, okay. don't we? Yes. That's good, isn't it? Oh, it's wonderful. That's why I played this game. Eight minute long level. These levels are just uh, a little bit longer than I'm comfortable they, they with. Would, they point. wouldn't be so long if, like, the platforming wasn't shit. <laughs> Or if we just more frequently played them, you know? No, but I'm good. Then the last time I played this was just under a year ago. Yeah, it was the Genesis version. Mm-hmm. And they don't handle quite the No, it handles same. worse. Yeah. Gene Gadget. Oh, this one's dumb. Eight lives. Did we cut out of death? I don't remember if I died here or not. You I might have. did? I don't remember if I cut it off or not, though. I don't think I did. Because I, I think I only died once here. I kind of figured out a strategy to just kind of hang out on the uh, left side. Yeah. You can. I think we left this one in because you can kind of watch as she's figuring out this boss fight out. Yeah. See my brain working. It does that sometimes. Yeah, I got screwed by the hit detection right there. I'm like, I'm like okay, okay then. <laughs> well, all the bosses are kind of like that. I guess what? It's loading. It's funny how much loading there is in this on a retread boss. Like, if you're bad at this game and you're trying to get emeralds, that's a lot of loading. That is a lot of loading. <laughs> the emerald, it takes, what, a minute or two to load everything. That's like 14 mandatory loads if you if you get all the emeralds first try. Yeah. Yeah, looking good, Sonic. <laughs> I'm gonna play Sonic Adventure at some point. Yeah, we probably should. We, we should play the one I have on the 360 since we did the Dreamcast one already. We can do the Dreamcast one again. Yeah, it'd be easier to record the 360 one. Uh, and, and this is me not knowing where the hell I am in space. <laughs> yeah, the Dreamcast is right now hard for us to record. I don't know a good way to do it. Aww. Having it look good. Uh, the frame ice that we use to upscale doesn't work well with 480p and doesn't on its own take a BGA input, so we have to convert from blah 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the Xbox one's 1080p, so we just plug. So it'd work. Into yeah. The recording device, no problem. Yeah, I'm having a good time here. It's great. But eventually I figure out, you know what, I'll just wait for him to come towards me, and then I'll jump. And, and then... The trick is to be high enough up the, el the escalator. Yeah. Or the conveyor belt. Whatever. I I know what you meant. <laughs> Elevator, escalator, conveyor belt. They're all the same! I'm just like, oh, please don't shoot me. It's a shame how you almost always pick up two rings at a time. I'm, I'm never trying so to do that. To yes, that. I'm, I'm I only... I you're not yeah. trying to. It's yeah, why would I want to do that? sets it that way. Yeah. Got him. 
All right, he's got Cracker's windshield. Next time he tries to clean that thing with the wipers, it's gonna break. <laughs> and right at this point, I kind of figure out, okay, this yeah. is good. So you can really see her learning a bunch, which I thought was a neat fight for that reason. Yeah. It starts I'm off adapting. with a, a terrible death, but it ends up with a solid strategy. Yeah. And that's pretty much all what you need to do with this boss fight, is just hang out here and rinse and repeat. Yay! You did it, you beat the conveyor! <laughs> the next two levels, I think, are really cool. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about flickies. Not nearly as much, anyway. Yeah. Alright, so one last <sighs> bunch of loading. Yeah. Yeah, this this run's actually gonna end prematurely because I didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds. There is normally um one this, last boss fight? Yeah, it's called the final fight. Level, I'll do that when we let's play the Genesis version at yeah. some point, but I'm not in any rush to I kinda need a break from no, this kind of game for a while. <laughs> but it will be here in the future. I play this more than once a year is kinda too much. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's a robot there, but you'll see the Flicky is in a tank. And the story is Dr. Robotnik didn't have time to uh, put the Flickies... In robots. Yeah. So they're Which in the makes capsules. Me wonder, why are there robots powered by animals to begin? I don't understand. Whatever. Yeah. So the little gimmick here is you have to uh, hit the switch, and it's, you know, kind of janky to do sometimes. Yeah. You'll, you'll see us occasionally approach a switch and fail. Yeah. Because you have to hit them at a very particular angle, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now, is this the level that had the clipping? That, I think that's the next level, but it's... No, I think it's... I, mean, it's I don't know. both of them to some extent. This one, I think you can just uh, spin dash up. I don't remember. Like, there you kind of see it for a second. Yeah, spin yeah. dashing. It's like, why bother? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, this is the part, this is the level that's garbage right here. Yeah. There's another part in the next stage also. But this is the worst part in the game, in my opinion. Those fans make it exceedingly more challenging to get started. And I, when I was... Oh, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't get up, but I do show kind of what happens. I, show I do. Ones that are really How you fun. clip, yeah. Wow, that was lucky. See, there, like, like that. That doesn't make any sense that. to me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and I was getting really mad at this point because I'm already wanting to stop playing this game. We're almost done, but this jump right here sucks. Yeah. Just everything's yeah. wrong. Okay. <laughs> The problem that she was having was she was walking forward before jumping, putting you on the ramp, making you jump backwards because this game hates you. Yes. My favorite explosives. You can't go up any further. I was just looking to see oh. if I had everyone. All right. And you'll know there's more robots here, more enemies than there are flickies. And yeah. at that point, I think the game becomes kind of neat. Like, yeah, it gives you five, like... I'm like, come on, jump on it! <laughs> it's jump way high and move. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with these isometric games. Just, death doesn't always work too well. Mm -hmm. Her perspective. It's definitely why this genre doesn't exactly work. <laughs> yeah. I think it's good in games like Final Fantasy Tactics, where you're not actually... Oh, yeah. But no. platforming in this kind of stuff it's, kind of sucks. No, yeah, it's We may bad. do a Snake Rattle Roll Let's Play at some point, just because I kind of like the game. And of course, it. the green one. Green one. Yeah, green was a jerk. Mm -hmm. At least there's no jerk palace in this level. Yeah. So we're right at the start. So, yeah. Okay. Now we just got to get up that ramp. Yeah. No, oh, jerk. Yep. Green one immediately goes the other direction. Gotta get away, gotta get away. Gotta gotta, run. Cause Sonic is so evil, you know. That's, that's what I'm talking about. When did the Chows first show up? Uh, Sonic Adventure. Okay. For Dreamcast. Okay. 
There we go. And yeah, I, I do cut here at some point. Because mm -hmm. this took a long time and finally I'm like, can you do this? I'm just, I'm too angry right now. <laughs> I'm not angry, just frustrated and bored. Yeah, my thought was get on the first platform and, and then from there safely jump up to the next one. Spin dash seems like a no-go. Yeah, you might skip one, but the odds of that happening correctly seem way less than uh, jumping. I think this is when I was taking over. No, I don't think and so. It wasn't. Because I cut. I think I cut. Yeah, but I mean, you probably cut out some of my trying to learn how to do it. Oh. It's not terrible. Okay, there I cut. Now you're playing, I think. All right. I think I may have already been playing before the cut. It took me a while, too. Like, we were both playing for quite some time. Yeah, this was jump, really jump. annoying. And just carefully jumping up and only landing on the platform. And then, here, spin dash makes sense, sure. Uh, yeah, and then I take over here. Yeah, and I'm like, all right, you take it, because I will die. <laughs> Ruin everything. So once again, trying to break open that container <laughs> that's right in front of me, too. All right. Finally make some progress. Yes. I think this level's really short, too. I think it might be over as soon as you drop these off, if my memory's correct. I think so, but trying to find the place to drop them off is a little bit trick anyway. Yeah. Oh no. We gotta go up the ramp again, don't we? I don't remember. Hey, you didn't slide through for some reason. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> Brain's falling asleep watching this. Likewise, I am kind of in a state of road hypnosis. Road hypnosis. You know what I'm talking about? Where you, you, you're like driving somewhere that you've done a million times. Like oh. Already here. <laughs> Wait, I don't think we have to go back there, do we? I don't know. I don't remember now. I hope not. If you only have to go up that way once, that's great. Do you have a five? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Yeah, because there was a flicky on the top that we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, this level... Is pretty cool. But the enemies stay sucks. dead once you kill them. Now, you can't kill the gun turrets, but everything else you can. I'm like, don't go through there. Yeah, I think it's... I'm just figuring out where the hell I'm supposed to go at this point. Mm -hmm. Up there, looks like. Yeah, come to that conclusion. And we are in a new area. Thank goodness. These switches are kind of stupid. There you go. How you did that. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that doesn't make any sense to me from a visual standpoint, but whatever. I smash your games. They are the greatest. Mm -mm. <laughs> you would think they could speed this up. Like, that's slow. Some good animation on those things in the walls. Maybe that's why it's slow, because they're like, look at all this fancy this animation. Yeah. Show this stuff up. Show this stuff up. <laughs> Glad you got the ring first. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> almost. Uh, and they put fans there too to make it even more frustrating. I'm like, oh, I'm oh, like, oh, uh, I know. There we go. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> yeah, I was really angry at the end of this level. I was just like, I don't want to play this anymore. And that's good. There's one more level. This next level is really cool. Yeah, because you, you play it like a normal level. There's no and it flickies. shows you what this game could have been. Wow, 10 minute level. <laughs> God. Yeah, and we, we cut out a few of those minutes. Yeah, it was longer. It was probably like 15 at least. No, it, it said 9.50 up at the top. Uh, no, I mean without the cuts. But the cuts don't change that time. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it felt like 15 to me. It felt like an eternity. Yeah, I know. Screwing around with the ramps, <laughs> clipping into them and shenanigans. Yeah. 10 minutes is too long for a level that's that short. Oh, God, yes. Panic Puppet. All right. Yes, this is a neat level. 
this one, there's no flickies. Yeah. Just go through. And there are enemies everywhere, and it's like, hey, this feels like the most Sonic level of this whole game. Yep. Look at this. There's two enemies on screen at once. I wanted to kill that thing, because it... I think that's the only... Well, that's the only time you see that enemy. I'm like, I want to kill it for oh, no reason. so you're a exterminationist? Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. They're cool looking. Like little floating TVs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, wow, I'm going fast. And I don't have to worry about... Oh, yeah. No, background's awesome. Yeah, this big robot in the background is pretty tight. And you'll see more of it as we go up the can, can you guess what that is? More of this cool tech now. Yeah, the, these levels have uh, good music. But the best thing about this level... It's going fast. This. This is so neat looking. The giant uh, Robotnik in the background. Mm -hmm. I'm running into everything. I'm like, oh crap, there's no rings. And those, those things will crush you <laughs> if you're <laughs> underneath them. That's funny. At least in the Genesis version, it will crush you. Oh, this part sucks. Yeah. So be careful not to be under that there. platform. And we'll watch an hour and a half of this for that tip, then it won't get crushed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly hope no one's watching this anymore. I hope they are. I think this isn't a bad playthrough. Oh no, it's not. By any means, it's not a bad playthrough. It's a pretty good game. Jump from there to the next platform carefully. Oh, no, nope, sliding through. You probably. Oh, wait, you can't spin dash up because you can't no. work on that stuff. It, and then I got screwed over by the idle animation. I'm like, don't do that. I'm trying to jump. Yeah, that totally makes sense, right? <laughs> Whoops. My earplug. Oh, no. Or earphone, whatever. You made it! Made it, now I can continue playing the game. Four enemies and two turrets on that platform. With four enemies up top. It's like, this level feels like much more like Sonic 2 yes. than any other level in the game. I do think it's a shame. <laughs> I like how- I'm sorry for interrupting. I like how I got that shield immediately lost yeah, it. that was pretty good. Cool. <laughs> I'm just talking at surface at this point anyway. The people know my feelings. Yeah, they should have more levels like this. Except less annoying. Yeah, if like there was one level that was like this and one flicky level per zone. That would make that sense. Cool. That would be a good idea. Yeah. Mix but, things up a bit. I mean, it's 20 years ago. It's going into his nose. All right. It's gross. It's, it's still cool, though. <laughs> I think there's a death here. I might have cut it out or I might have just went right to it because it took me a while to figure out what I was supposed to um, mm -hmm. attack here. It's not very clear. If memory serves... I think we died once the phase one, once in phase two, and then you beat phase three immediately. I, I something like I don't remember. I don't know if I cut them out or not. I think I might have cut at least one out. We'll find out, shall we? Yeah. But uh, if you don't have all the chaos emeralds, this is the final uh, fight in the game. So in our case, this is going to be the final boss. Panic puppet. So was that a puppet that was in the background? The Robotnik? I'm I trying guess. to think what the puppet was or where they got the name for this level. Alright, so what you hit here is not exactly self evident. No. Yeah. I assumed that you'd be attacking. I, I think this is. This, this looks like it's your first attempt. I yeah. Think all the deaths are left in then. Or I think I just have one left in. Like, I didn't know what was going on here. I'm like, um, is he gonna stop? And, and then no I realized, plans. yeah. You actually have to trigger him to do the next thing in yeah. a certain spot. I'm like, how do I attack this guy? What's the deal? So, that's where you're supposed to hit him, what I just tried to jump at. And now you see it flashing if you're... Y yeah, you can only hit it when it's, um, beeping. Mm -hmm. And I'm still just kind of trying to figure this out, because I don't remember how to handle this boss. I'm like, maybe I'm supposed to wait. I'm like, no, that's not doing anything. I need to do something else. At some point. I like the dust. That's a lot of dust from the spin dash. Mm-hmm. Sounds dusty guy, you know. Yep. Or maybe it's the uh, tiles, Robotnik's area, that's dusty. 
for a second I thought maybe there was like a safe spot and you're just supposed to wait it out, but I'm like, no, no. no. There's no safe spots, you just have to actually make him attack you. Yep. Which I think you have now figured out. Yep. And I'm like, oh, that's I it. Her, I thought she was supposed to attack the thing behind. Well, I knew that. I was trying to do that already, but you have to. No, I, I mean the thing immediately behind yeah. the spike wall, not the glowing thing. I haven't even seen it glow yet. Yeah, you have to do that. I don't have the timing down yet. Mm -hmm. You actually have to release spin dash pretty early, which I don't do yet. There you go. And still haven't seen the actual weak point. No. I'm like, try it. Well, maybe I just jump at him. No. I thought maybe I'm supposed to damage those. But no. Alright, I think I cut at this point, and then I just... I figured it out. <laughs> Pieced it you together. Seven lives before, but now we are loading. Great. <laughs> I should have just cut that part out. I mean, <laughs> that's fine. Just showing me not only what the home's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. How many lives do I have here? Let me you see. Had seven. Okay, I cut. Okay. This is when yeah. I get it right. <laughs> this is when I figure it out. So that's how you now damage him. It. Yeah. Two hits. Well, that ain't gonna happen. No. <laughs> okay, so I destroyed that. Now you have to do the other one. I, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know they can still damage me. Those shadows look like peanuts. Yeah, I <laughs> agree with you very much. You see it? I very much do still in the shells. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Got him. Yep. Alright, you won the game. Nope. What? He has, he has a few forms. Second phase? Yep. This one's annoying, so you can't, it alternates which side, and then you just have to avoid the fire and switch, switch sides constantly. The fire also can't hurt you right after you hit him. Yeah. Once you know what to do, this boss actually isn't that bad, and it's not that long either. I didn't want to grab that ring. Yeah, probably didn't want to grab that one either. No. It's important to try to have one ring at a time. Yeah. But now you're going in a pretty good circuit. Yep. Oh, well, still fine. I mean, it's it's not always easy to know what you're jumping at, mm -hmm. just due to the nature of the game. Wait, is that it? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. One last part. Yeah, you killed the left arm first. I think this is the last phase. Here you can just hit either side. Yeah. Which is kind of funny. And this one actually does have a safe spot. Yeah. Just keep going. I think that's what kind of mixed me up with the first time I played this boss. Because I, re I vaguely remember, yeah, I vaguely remember there was a safe spot in the corner, and that's why I was kind of hanging out there for a while, but it was too early. Oh, well, you're making good progress right here, clearly. Yep. And that's it. <laughs> like, quick, grab rings. I need I them. Get them all. <laughs> and that's that's the game. Gotta catch them all. Cause no, no, wrong game. All right. <laughs> I mean, we did catch all the flickies. We did. Mm -hmm. Hey, congratulations! You won a great game. Mm, not really. I think, I think it's a pretty it's good solid. game. It's solid. I give I it like... Better this... than I would say Bubsy is. Well, pff, wow, that says a lot. Let's talk about the first one. And here's the ending FMV. That Yay! Is kind of on the Genesis? Or is it just screenshot? I think it's it? just like a still image. It's not actually animated. Wow. 
<laughs> they used up all the space on the intro, probably. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And here's Oh no, Eggman. Robotnik has yeah. all those emeralds. Yep. Darn. I don't care. I'll get my revenge on the Genesis version uh. where it doesn't make me sit and wait for the low times every time I get one. <laughs> Loading. Loading the ending? Correct. Yeah. yeah, and All right. this this game even has like vocals to the ending song. Yeah, I think that's really cool, frankly. Yeah. Call me crazy. Put a little bit of budget into it. Traveler's Tales. What else these guys made? I don't remember them. I don't remember either. Okay. I know they made other games, but I don't... I'm sure they did. I just can't play. I'm blanking out, like yeah. That. It was very long. Jeez, oh, yeah. So, uh, I guess thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, we do appreciate it, I guess. <laughs> this is a pretty good game. No, I it's alright. So. It, it, it just has some bumpy parts, but it, it's solid for yeah, what it, it is. It's not a true Sonic game, though. If it had saving, that alone would... That would have made it a lot a better, game. yes. Like, if you come back to it later, it's just a long game that was enjoyable. Yeah, especially fun. because the more difficult parts are towards the end, and you're already winded from playing, you know, a long game, and you just, yeah. you don't want to deal with the platforming. It took us, what, we're now in 10 into this? Yeah. And now we're in 51? Yeah. Okay. Oof. Just about two hours. That is a pretty long run. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again for <laughs> sticking with us. This yeah, if you're time. if you're still that watching, incredible. yeah, thanks a lot. Um, well, we'll see you guys like again later. I'll make more Street Fighter Cross Tekken videos because it's currently my favorite fighter. Uh, Red of retro game stuff. We'll do more Let's Plays in the future. Um, Probably torment yourselves at some point with Pac-Man, Pac-Man Two: The New Adventures. Uh, yeah, we need to bring back the Let's Torment ourselves, <laughs> where we play a deliberately kind of crappy game. game. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have any like specifics that you want to see, drop a comment. I might read it. <laughs> She'll read it and then be like, why did he bother to comment? I hate this person. No, that's not what I say. Oh, my bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's if I get a bot comment. Like, I'll upload a video. In fact, Shot in the Dark, they're probably going to do the same thing. I'll, I will upload a video that's like at least 30 minutes long. It's only public for 10 seconds. I get a comment saying, wow, great video. It's a bot. Yeah, of course it is. No one can watch a 30-minute video. Anyway. Yeah, th this one guy, like, I responded, I'm like, so this this video is, like, an hour long. It's only been public for literally 10 seconds. How can you gauge if this was a good video or not? <laughs> like, don't even bother. Like, I know you're a bot. And then, of course, they're going to be the, the guy, the basement dwelling guy that has the three accounts, bot accounts that will instantly downvote. Oh, he'll downvote. Play. Yeah. He's, he's an important part of our operation. <laughs> 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 Shout out to the downvote bot. Downvote bot. I really like you, man. <laughs> You're the best. Pro tip, find something better to do with your life. <las> like anything. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye.